Hey guys, it's Cat Warrior, and today I am going to be doing a tutorial video. Today's tutorial video will be uh, will be how to create laptop decor. Now, what do I mean by laptop decor? Well, I'll tell you. Basically, it's decor that like goes on your laptop. I made them this morning. I have a cat peeking um out from behind, and I then have a rainbow here. Let me take a picture and show you on the camera because. I can't eat, I can't show you from the laptop, so, let me come out, so, there, so, as you can, wait, no, that, I need a better picture, so I need a close up of each one, so, Okay, so these are the two I made this morning. So I made a cat that peeked over from the back of the laptop, and I have a rainbow that goes in the corner. I made those this morning, and I'm going to be showing a tutorial on how you make them. So basically, it's actually pretty simple. All you need, this is what I was using for them, as you can see, you see like the cat paws, and then the rainbow over here. So I'll just get a new piece of paper, hold on a second. So we've got, I've got a piece of paper right here, and if you want to put cardboard behind it and cut it out, that is optional. Um, I'm not going to do it because it's easier to cut it out if there's no cardboard. So basically, um, first you have to pick your object or something that you're gonna, um, that you're gonna draw. So these are the materials you're gonna need. You're gonna need blank paper, like pure white. A pencil, tape, any type of tape will do, scissors, and let me just get and your choice is either crayons or markers or pencil crayons. Doesn't really matter, you can choose what you want to color with, crayons, pencil crayons, markers. Um, I suggest getting at least one, like, um, black marker so you can outline it after to make it stand out more. I did not do that with the, um, rainbow. All I did with the clouds and the rainbow. But, anyway, let's get started. So, I'm going to push my thing down like this so you can actually see. Wait, where's my cardboard? Where's my board that I put stuff on? I'm just going to use a, um, notebook. You can see I have my notebook here. So, this, ow, geez. I'm going to push that out like this so I actually have. Okay. So put that right there, put the paper on top of it. So basically, I am, so, what do I want to draw? I want to draw, instead of a cat, let's just draw a dog. So I suggest putting the paper um, sideways like this, horizontal. So then you can start drawing your item. So let me just draw a dog here. So basically with the um, animals like poking over your screen like the cat one, you basically want to draw the head and then two paws, no body, no nothing. Because on the front it'll just look like it's um, popping up, but then from the back there will be no body, but you'll be using it from the front anyway. So I'm just going to draw a dog here. Do not do that on me. Um, dog. Um, 
like no Let me see. There. Now that's the dog's face. As you can see, I drew a dog's face. And wait. Okay. And now I'm going to draw the paws. So two round bits here. And then the thing. As you can see here, uh, I've got the dog face with the two paws, and now we're going to color it in. So I need my um marker gun, which is my sewage bag. YouTube. Oh, it's the video I recorded before this is now on YouTube. Woohoo! That is something you didn't need to be interrupted for. Um, anyway, now we're going to color it in. I suggest, um, it's your choice if you want to color it in, then outline in black, or outline in black, then color it in. I'm going to color it in first, and I'm going to use crayon. Okay. I'm going to use brown. Let me color it in. And by the way, Outlining in black is optional. You don't have to outline it in black, but I suggest, eh, I recommend it because it makes it stand out more. But you don't have to. I'm not forcing you. It's your choice if you want to outline it in black or not. I am for this dog, but as you know, um, I love cats, so I did the cat first. And I don't know what I did to make me want to do laptop decor, but. I um, but I just did. I was watching a Jacksepticeye video, and then all of a sudden, um, I'm like, hey, let's draw a cat peeking over my lap. Let's draw a cat peeking over something, and then I'm like, you know what? I'll tape it to my laptop to make it look like the cat is peeking over the top of my laptop. Yeah. And then I said to make a tutorial in case you guys wanted to do it too. If you don't have a laptop or a computer, just I don't know, do it to your phone or iPad, but make it a bit smaller. If, if you're doing it for a laptop, make it big. If you're doing it for an iPad, make it small. iPad slash phone, make it a little bit smaller. Not too small that you can barely see it, but make it smaller than a laptop one. Because a laptop screen is way bigger than an iPad and phone screen, so. <sighs> Okay, so I'm almost done coloring it in. Oh yeah, and when you're doing the pause at the top where it ends. Okay, I'm, okay. When you're doing the pause at the top here, make a line of whatever color you're using, like um brown or something, like me. So all I have to do is finish up the eyes, and I'm going to make his eyes green, like my cat's eyes are green. So his eyes are green. Yeah, there we go. And now I'm going to outline him in black. Not trying to be racist, by the way. Because you outline it in black marker, it makes it bold. Or make it outstanding color. So then I'm going to outline it in the black marker, like you can see. So outline it. And it helps too, because if you have like lines that are made of pencil inside your object, um, it makes 
it pleases me more, so. No. No. I outline those. Uh, it looks cuter already. And then the paws. Outlining it in black can take away the mistakes you may have accidentally done, like colored outside the lines up just a tiny bit. Okay. I've got that done. Now, what you need to do, you need to cut it out, obviously. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut this out. As you can see, um, oh my god, I almost get the scissors away from my leg. So as you can see, I outlined it and you can see it much better. And it's like this way. So I'm going to do that right now. And this video has been going on for 11 minutes and 14 seconds. Well, can't believe it takes this long to do a laptop decor. But you want it to be good. So I'm explaining it in full detail. You can really do anything. I did a rainbow. I did a cat peeking over. So you have to cut it out. You have to be very careful so you don't want any cuts inside of the object. Cut along the um, black line. Someone just messed up. Oh, my mom just wanted to touch me. But. Interference. Um, okay, anyway, let's continue on with this. So, along the black lines that you did, or you, maybe you didn't do. But just cut along the edges, not the actual, cut along the edges, don't go inside of your object. And, yeah, there's so many paper going everywhere. So I've got my dog head right here, put it right there. Now I'm going to cut out this paws. Hug. I'm going to cut those out. Um, yeah. The rainbow was harder to do because of the clouds, and it was like so many lumps, like so many curves and stuff. If you want to put cloud, if you want to make a rainbow, you have the choice of either putting clouds at the each end or not. I put clouds at each end because I figure, because I find it um looks better. You don't have to. You can just do a normal rainbow without clouds at the end. And FYI, the clouds are like really hard to do when you're cutting it out, but I did it anyway. So, there. See the paper? Nothing left on it, wait. Can you make a mess? <laughs> so anyway, I've got my dog right here, and my two paws. So now what you want to do, I'm just going to get rid of this. Where did my tape go? Tape. Your, okay, so I'll put it back on me now. So what you want to do is take your tape, take your head, and you want to um, go to the back of it. So right here, take your tape, make it as long as you want. I'm just going to make it this long. So on the back, put the tape, um, put the tape on the back of it, kind of, eh. So kind of like put the tape on it right here, on the very bottom, see, I've got it like that, put the sticky side outwards, so then, um, 
No, wait. Dang it, I've done this wrong. Okay, so how did I do this? So, you have to... Yeah, no, wait, I did do it right. Okay, so I have to put it sticky side out. So then, what you basically want to do, you want to take it and place it wherever you want. Make sure it has kind of the bottom of its face, like kind of like um, some of its mouth is like underneath where you can't see it. So I'll just get my iPad here. Just a second. Let me just take a quick video and show you guys. So you basically want to so don't put it on me. Okay, so you basically want to take it so sticky sides out and let me just put in the video. So you basically want to put it like kind of like that. And then you have it like that. And then you take your paws and you um, and then you take your paws and then you get a um if then you get jeez that's too long. I'll have to cut this piece in half. If you make it too long piece, just cut it in half and paste. It's easy. Okay. No, I don't want you scary. Um. Anyway, and then basically you want to do that thing where you like fold under to make a circle of tape. Wait, no, you don't do that yet. So then you basically do the same thing, you put it on the top, but in front this time, so that the sticky part is facing in back, and then you just tape your paws on too, so then, do that with both of them. You have got it done with both of them. Now what you want to do, I'll start recording again. Um, this is a very complex video. So then, then now that you've got your dog head on, basically what you want to do, let me just put one down, is put it, um, underneath him, on the edge, so like right there. So see what I'm doing. Let me just turn it this way. So, so you basically want to take it on like that. Actually, you might want to put it more upward, kind of. Oh crap! So put the tape. A little bit more downy. So then basically, what you want to do is put the paws underneath, so um, like that, and then do the same thing for the other paw. And then, basically, what you want to do, so, this is what I did. You basically want to put it, like, kind of like that.
So basically what I just did, so then what you want to do, because the paws are going to be like sticking out like that, you want them like that, so basically you want to get your tape again, and you want to make that circle of tape, so just fold the tape under, stick it on, kind of like that, and then put it under each paw, so put one under there for that paw, and then do another one. So I'm going to piece of tape. Um, doesn't really matter about the size of the tape, as long as it's not bigger than the paw, but it's not too small either. So basically put it underneath, stick it down, and it should stay. So yeah. Um, you should know what it looks like after. I'll just take a picture to show you. Um, it should look like um it should look like something like this now keep in mind you don't have to do the dog one you can do anything you want you can do the cat one i did earlier you can do the dog one if you want you can do a rainbow um you saw what the rainbow one looks like i put it in the corner and I'll probably do a part two to this, like, um, explaining how you do the ones, um, that don't go behind it, and don't go like that. Um, so, yeah. That's just some pretty cool, fun laptop decor. Yeah, I'll do a part two after this, to do, like, the rainbow and such. So, yeah, it should look like that. You can do anything you want. You can do any animal you want, any person, any thing like that but the other ones like objects that don't go behind I'll show a tutorial for that after. But anyway, that was basically how to do the laptop decor part one. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and of course subscribe and I will see you in the next all in the next video. Bye, Cat Warrior.